War Thunder is very toxic right now and it has been for a while. Many of the factors have been, depending on what vehicle you use and different battles, and also high tier premiums in the game. There has been a stigma on certain vehicles like the Harriers, A5C, and Yak-38. Being at a battle rating around 9-7, they have better missiles than other things that they're battle rating. Being killed by one is just annoying because they take no skill. Moving them up in battle rating has been hard because of their speed and maneuverability, which makes them easy targets. The only exception to this is the A5C. The A5C has AIM-9Ps and Magics and is at 10L, which it usually gets down tier to 9-7, which then it goes against Harriers and Yak-38s and other things like MiG-19s and F-100s. The MiG-19 and the F-100 don't have very good missiles with them only pulling 10Gs. Being one of these vehicles like the F-100 and MiG-19 up this BR makes it very hard to play because of the good missiles these premiums get. Another problem is most new players buy high tier premiums which makes it even more frustrating for more experienced players. For new players it's easier to spend 40 to 60 dollars on a premium jet than grind through the tech tree. For some it takes over 6 to 10 months to get to top tier. Just in general, getting killed by a level 11 at 9-7 is just annoying because also teams suffer from inexperienced players. The chat just makes it more toxic. The premiums are just fuel for the fire. If someone is angry enough, they might as well just write something mean and toxic in the chat. Players will write either something vulgar or even more offensive and racist in the chat. In summary, this has caused War Thunder to be a very toxic gaming community. If you want more videos like this where I talk about problems in War Thunder, or if you want me to do reviews on planes, please leave them in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.